We're a team in Milwaukee, and we're working with Milwaukee DataShare to identify students at risk of interacting with the criminal justice system. So the juvenile criminal justice system is meant to be rehabilitative rather than punitive. However, a student or an individual only gets an interve intervention once they have their first criminal intervention. By at building an early warning system and identifying students at risk, we can better match them to school-based interventions to, to prevent that first interaction in general. And why Milwaukee? Uh, so in the year 2012, there were 3,000 arrests per 100,000 juveniles. In Milwaukee, this number was four times higher. And we can take a data-driven approach to this problem because Milwaukee DataShare is a very unique platform that allows us to link individuals and data sets between different public agencies. In particular, we're working with Milwaukee Public Schools and the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office with our goal being to identify students before they have their first interaction with the juvenile criminal justice system. All right, so one of the main problems that our partner faces is in linking between these two data sets. So the first thing we did was identify students common to both data sets and chart their uh, trajectory as they pass through both systems. So finding students and looking at their attendance, assessment, demographic enrollment information, and looking across to the juvenile criminal justice data and identifying whether or not they had an interaction and what kind of interaction they had. The second issue we have uh, that our partner has is one of resource allocation. Ideally, we'd like to give all 150,000 enrolled students an intervention that reduces their risk of interacting with the justice system. However, uh, we want to specifically target the 1% of students that do go on to have an interaction. And ideally, we could give everybody the intervention, but since we can't, we want to make sure that we can identify the riskiest of students. So the current practice in Milwaukee public schools is not targeted towards criminal justice, but generally flags students as at risk or not at risk. And it uses a heuristic method that incorporates attendance, behavior, and curriculum information. Um, and so what we gave our partners instead was a risk of uh, a ranked list of students by risk score, identifying the ones at high, highest risk for specific targeted interventions. Uh, so if the white box is all the students in Milwaukee, with the red box being the students who go on to have an interaction, the baseline model flags about 22,000 students and correctly identifies 54% who go on to have an interaction. Our model flags only 12,000 and correctly identifies 66% of students. In effect, we flag fewer but catch more at-risk students, thus allowing our partners to better match their interventions or their resources to student need.